Right, our next uh, element, we've done assets, completed those. Now we move on to liabilities. So when you think about liabilities, well, we get into things that you owe to other people. So, uh, always here, it's an amount of money that we owe to other people. Uh, there's an obligation to pay it. And there's going to be some sort of outflow of resources. You know, money's going to be paid out in the future. So if it meets any of these, then it's likely to be a liability, something that you owe. Now, you can personally have liabilities. And so some of the liabilities that you might have might be that you might have a credit card. Credit card is where you have a little piece of a card, plastic, you take it into a shop, you can buy anything you like. But you have to pay that money back. So go through the three parts. It's an amount that we owe. You definitely know the amount. There's an obligation to pay it, and it's going to be paid in the future. So credit cards, absolutely a liability. Um, some people will have loans from a bank, for example, to buy a car. That again is a liability. Now the loan is a liability, and on the other side you might have an asset. That's okay. But the liability side, that is a loan. The amount that you have repaid. Sorry, um, due to repay. Now you may also have, um, if you are in New Zealand, you may have think of a student loan. You, know, you still have to pay that money back. You still have to pay the government back. So student loan definitely is a liability. You may also see this um, called a mortgage. So if you have, if you buy a house, then um, the bank can loan you money to buy that house, maybe 80% or so. Now, the mortgage um, is secured over the house, which means if you don't pay, the bank will then sell the house. So that's a mortgage. Now, there is one other type of um, liability that we need to look at. And this is more related to, um, to businesses. Yeah. There's a thing called creditors. Now there's another term for it again. It's called accounts payable. So accounts payable or creditors, um, these are amounts where the business has bought something, so they've purchased something from a supplier, and they have yet to pay them. So there's still an amount of owing. Uh, for example, uh, here at Pims, we run a restaurant, we purchase lots of food from food suppliers or, um, in town. So we put in the order, they deliver the product. We have the product, we owe the, the supplier the money. Now, we haven't yet paid it, so they are a creditor. Okay, so we've done the purchase, and we owe the money to the other person. So creditors are wherever we owe money to a supplier that we are about to pay. Okay, um, now similar to assets, there's two classifications. We can put liabilities into two different categories. Uh, this is pretty similar. Basically, current liabilities is where the amount is due to be paid within 12 months. So again, that same time frame. So some of these things we have to pay um, very soon, and so if it's within 12 months, it's going to be current liability. So definitely cre creditors, our suppliers, they want to, our money within a year. Uh, credit card, you better pay that within a year. But some of these other items, loan, student loan, mortgage, these are longer term ones. So if it's a longer term one, then this is what's called a non-current liability. So these are due to be paid after 12 months. So again, similar classification where you can put, put um, various amounts owing into these two categories. Okay, so that's it on liabilities. We've talked about that a liability is the amount that you owe. There is an obligation there to pay and there will be some sort of outflow of resources of money in the future 
to read the page. Um, there is also the classification, current liabilities and non-current liabilities.